I started drawing, painting, colouring at a quite young age, like almost all children do. I remember enjoying it very much, and thanks to my mum, who's kept very kindly some of my early creations, let's call them like that, I can still take a look at them. After attending a scientific high school, I decided I would apply to a fine art academy, Academia di Belle Arti. These are university-like institutions with lots of practical subjects, as well as theory classes. In order to be admitted to the academy, you have to pass an exam which consisted once in five days of tests. This is when I took it. The year after that, they reduced it to one day of test as an interview portfolio viewing. Here are some of my, let's call it, pre-academic paintings and artwork. There's a bit of everything. Graffiti, projects, sketches, watercolours, canvases and so on. During my first year of art college, I experimented quite a lot with my paintings. It was my main subject and I enjoyed it very much. I must say I experimented a lot, seeking and looking for my own personal style and trying out several techniques like oils, acrylics, mixed media and so on. During my second year of college, I seemed to develop a more defined stylistic approach. On one hand, a series of abstract paintings in which I stressed the contrast of colours and tried to create some interesting shapes. On the other hand, I worked on a series of paintings where all sorts of anthropomorphic figures inhabited an imaginary world. I carried on producing these types of paintings for some time. In my last year of college, I felt very lucky because I'd already taken most of my exams so besides preparing my thesis, I could just paint. And I also attended a sculpture course. And here you can see some of my preparatory sketches. After my bachelor course, during my gap year, I carried on painting on a smaller scale. I worked on some watercolours of imaginary landscapes and painted some other abstract canvases. I then applied for a master course in painting at the Fine Art Academy of Bologna. Here I was reluctant to carry on making the same sorts of paintings I'd made so far and tried to improve my skills as a watercolourist. I then tried to recreate the same sorts of subjects with oil colours. My latest paintings reflect this attempt to remain in between my previous abstract influence and a more concrete, realistic view of reality. If I can give my advice, it would be to always keep trying, work hard and follow your dreams. There may be difficult times and you may go through some uncreative grey periods and feel like quitting, but it's always well worth it, so always give it a try.